Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm here today going over part two of the 29th week of the weeklypokerhand.com. Today I'm going over one of my viewers' hands, and we're looking at it from their opponent's point of view. This is a pretty cool hand, as we discussed in part one, because both players effectively say they have a monster on the flop, and that really narrows everyone's range, which is always pretty cool. So here, the, uh, Nuts Baby, who we're going to talk about today, calls a raise with pocket twos and flops a set, which is obviously exactly what you want. On the flop, there's a bet, and Nuts Baby elects to min raise. And I actually do not like this for a few reasons. Uh, the main reason is it tells your opponent you have the nuts, and that's not good. Whenever you have a set, you always want to make your range look weak. And the way to do that here is to raise kind of large, to something like 1,700. You want to look like you have a jack and are trying to either get value with it or protect it, whatever. Or you want to make your hand look like a draw of some sort, or to some sort of crazy bluff with like queen nine. Um, if you min raise here, it's clear you don't want your opponent to fold. And if you don't want your opponent to fold, they're going to realize that you must have a monster, probably like ace jack or better. Um, some players min raise here with a jack, like queen jack or jack 10, trying to find out where they're at. I don't really see that happening too much at the higher level, but uh, that is how a lot of weaker players play their hand. They want to not get outdrawn, so they want to protect their hand. But in reality, that's that's a pretty weak play for numerous reasons. If you don't know why that's a weak play, I definitely suggest you check out my book, Secrets of Professional Tournament Poker, Volume 1. It will discuss pretty much the fundamentals of No Limit Hold'em tournaments, and it will explain why that play is very, very bad. So right here, Nuts Baby Men Raises. I don't like it. I'd much prefer a raise to like 1,700. But, interestingly enough, the hero re-raises to 3,000. And at this point, I would actually think the hero's range is something like any hand better than a jack. So like if he has jack eight or something like, I would say queens are better, I would not be surprised about this. And if that's uh, the hero's range, I think Nuts Baby should call because here either has a set, which Nuts Baby loses to, or an overpair, which he may fold to continued aggression, which would be a disaster. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent off the hook when they have an overpair. Also, hero could have something like queen jack himself and just be making a giant blunder. So, I like a call here. I think it's pretty good. Turns a seven. Hero checks. Hero's cl clearly scared of the straight. Or he has the straight himself. Either way, you have a set, so it doesn't matter. Um, hero checks. I would be betting, but I would bet kind of small. Because, again, when you bet 3,400, it's clear that you're not folding. And the last thing you want is to tell your opponent you're not folding in a spot like this. So you really want to make your opponent think that you are just trying to pick up the pot. So I would bet something small like um, 2600 I think that would be pretty solid, and I think it would be a pretty pretty good option. Uh, once you bet large, though, Hero hero must have something pretty good to continue, like, again, an overpair better. Unless he's very stubborn and just has top pair. On the river, Hero checks. Nuts, baby. you got to go for value, so you shove. And I, I like a shove here. At this point, I definitely think that the Hero could have a pretty wide range of value hands, like Queen Jack, Jack 10, or better, something like that. And you beat almost all of them besides exactly Jacks or Eights. And your opponent certainly has not played his hand like he has Jacks or Eights. So I like a value shove. I actually think the only spot Nuts maybe messed this up significantly was on the flop where he raised small. Besides that, I think he played the hand decently well. And he ends up losing. And that's the kind of cool part about poker is that you can play your hand very well and still lose all your money. And that's something a lot of players have a hard time accepting. You know, like in this spot, if you value bet yourself to death in a tournament with twos and your opponent calls down with, with pocket jacks, you're like, what in the world just happened? But that's how it goes sometimes, and you really can't be too sad about it. Um, if the board got much draw heavier, like say the river was a 10 or a 9, I would suggest Nuts Baby check it back. But I think right here, Nuts Baby just has to go broke, and um, the hero almost let Nuts, Baby, let Nuts Baby off the hook, but not quite. So, pretty cool hand. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about this hand or any others, please let me know. And if you have any hands you want me to review, send them in. You know, don't be shy. I'm here to help you guys learn to play better. And if you play a hand that you have any questions about, send it in. And I promise to not be too harsh. If you guys have any questions, again, let me know. This has been Jonathan Little for WeeklyPokerHand.com. Thanks for watching.